What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? It is time for us to watch. I've never seen an Apple TV show, have you? I've, I've seen a little Ted Lasso. Whatever. In my Scaff. Life. Oh. Uh, we are watching <laughs> Monarch <laughs> because we are entering the monster <laughs> first. I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, breathe fire into that like button. Also, I'm putting John and Andrew on watching Shin Godzilla. So excited. Uh, so I haven't excited. seen it. It's a good movie. So I oh. hope that you guys enjoy it. Hopefully we get that out by next week. Subscribe, click the notification bell because we are going to be, of course, covering the rest of this series. Thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. As always, full length through actual watch longs where you sync up with your own copy of Monarch that is available for our super sexy rejects over at our Patreon page. Cover several things exclusively with their highlights and watch longs included. But with this being the first episode, it is made public for everyone. So there's a link in the description box if you want to do the watch along experience to see what that's all about. Anywho, let's get into action, people. See how good this show actually is. Cool. Oh, is this starting off on like Kong Skull Island? Looks like it. Oh, yeah. This is like POV from that sequence. Whoa. Someone's a helicopter out of camera. Ooh. I kind of feels like it. <gasps> I don't know if this will get to you. I hope so. Actually, I don't because it will probably mean I'm dead, which you may not feel too busted up about. I do. I can't go back in time and fix all the mistakes I made, but maybe I can leave something for the future. It's okay, Connor. <laughs> Isaac was all worth it. Oh! It's always worth it. Whoa, whoa this is like a full on scene. Yeah. This definitely feels like some out of a King Kong, Kong movie. Bill Randa lost a bunch of weight. Yes. <laughs> Just in his past few sequences, in fact. <laughs> Damn, look at the budget on this thing. Cool. Ah. Uh... Doing what he loved. Oh, gnarly. Or not. Ooh. Crab battle. Crab battle. <laughs> Crab battle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just in the right place at the right time, huh? Whoa. Damn. Pretty cool POV. This really does feel incredibly cinematic. Oh, no. How did they manage to destroy the camera? Hey, hey, hey. hey it's the Fossil logo. Fossil in the background. Oh, that's right. Good catch. A skull crawler. Oh shit, maybe we'll get Matthew Broderick to appear. Dude, it would be the ultimate crossover. <laughs> Justice for Broderick. That's a lot of fish. Has there technology to actually be able to get that kind of millimeter? It's unreal. You know, it, it, it would depend on how corroded the film is, I guess. There's probably some, but past a point you're probably you know <laughs> screwed <laughs> uh -huh. cool opening sequence I kind of a real mystery element and the mirrored Rorschach inkblot like images suggest that this is going to test our unique perspectives in the lives of our characters and also the dueling timelines yeah definitely <laughs> Well, also, too, as we saw in Godzilla vs. Kong, there was that alternate world. Yes. Hollow Earth, baby. I mean, there's got to be some Hollow Earth stuff in here. Matt Fraction, huh? Interesting. The guy did WandaVision? Who's no, 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 no. Matt Fraction wrote the Hawkeye run, didn't he? Oh, yes. Matt yeah. Shackman. Matt Shackman, though. <laughs> Whoa. They're both... <laughs> I really gotta learn some Japanese. I wanted to so badly in eighth grade. 
We have to wait. Topical. <laughs> yes, like like a normal flight in in these days. It's all about giving us the illusion of safety. Like spraying us for parasites would help prevent another monster attack. Yes. <laughs> what do you guys drug it in? <laughs> That's haunting. It's kind of like a sci-fi mystery. Yeah. Oh, snap. Cool. Oh, is that from the 2014 Godzilla movie? Sure looked like it, yeah. I was trying to check my memory in terms of where the years align, but yeah. And it's cool because it harkens back to like the very fleeting glimpses we would get in that movie. What is the purpose of your visit to Japan? My father died recently and I'm settling his affairs, so business, I guess. Family business. Oh, is she the daughter of... Is she uh, 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 Sarazawa's daughter? Ken Watanabe? Ken, Kenny, Kenny <laughs> W. <laughs> or are we being racist? We could be being racist, but I hope not. Just well, no, it's, it would we're only be racist if we thought she was Ken Watanabe. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we're going, she's Asian. <laughs> the government is spending lots of money. Missiles, drones. Are you in the trade? Musa prep. Big business now. Oh. People always find a way to profit off someone else's tragedy. More profit than tragedy. San Francisco was a hoax. They did it with CGI. Yes, it's a deep fake. That's quite a revelation. There's more. I have a podcast. You're Brian Tyree Henry. It's interesting seeing like the civilian real world response to this. That's some of my favorite world building is, yeah, just like the big, you know, giant monster sticker on the ground or like the missiles they set up. Hi, Mom. You said you'd call when you landed. And I just landed. Yeah, two hours ago. You think you'll just be sitting here waiting for someone to bring him home? So we should have gone with your plan? Sit here staring at the walls, never knowing what this means? Interesting cut. Subtle foreboding note. That is not Kim Watson. No, I guess I was wrong. I'll take the blame. I'm a racist. <laughs> Why do you have these pictures? How did you get in here? Uh, I have the keys. What the hell's happening? I'm not. I found them in my father's desk along with the lease for this apartment in his name. I don't know who your father is, but this is our apartment. It's Brian Cranston. This is my father. Oh, he started another family? Oh, weird. Hello. That guy's like, damn, I have a hot sister. <laughs> I feel so conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have gotten us a vehicle that was at least somewhat vehicular. Oh my god, why does kids you know? Billy, it's the pedal on the left. Hey, what's the rule on commentary from the back seats? You sure this is the right road? Let me check. <laughs> Let me just read the radiation real quick. Uh, how will they never plan on having kids anyway? There was a time when you were at least entertaining the idea. Well, there was a time where that idea was very entertaining. Are they former lovers? Don't make things awkward and tell us it's because you never met the right woman. Uh oh. Being able to keep Monarch together, that's no small feat. What we've done, we've done together. The two of us. Yeah. I felt like there was a sexual tension between them. The way they're framing this, it uh -huh. seems like there's definitely something between the two of them, at least her and Wyatt Russell. The army gave me one job. Swab was keeping you eggheads alive. It's just follow my lead for a change, please. Where's Godzilla? He's <laughs> not destroyed anything yet. <laughs> Except some people's PTSD. What's all this, like, mood and atmosphere and character building? Build up in themes. <laughs> The locations they shot this on are beautiful. I kind of wish it was a volume. Although, to be fair, I think the first scene was a bit of a volume. Stay out, you niggas! Put down your weapon! Yes, because I'm you niggas! Calm down! Whoa. Come here, Dodger! Can't keep your mask on! They're guilty about that. We would join you. We had him much. Yes, they did see us to the Balesh. I asked me a motor to marry it. They've already been eating it. You mentioned the Vizinia. It's a Skaska. It's. 
Для особо любопытных, чтобы не лазили. Зачем? Зачем не залазят? This Godzilla will rage against misinformation. Старики говорят, что правительство выжгли дыру в земле прямо в ад. To the hollow hell. Is her father Ken Watanabe? Assume they're all related to Ken Watanabe. Uh, or, or is it the other woman's mother? I don't know. <laughs> Chernobyl. I haven't even seen Chernobyl, but it, anything with this aesthetic <laughs> and radiation gets Chernobyl. Yep. <laughs> Treatment. <laughs> it's, it's a required reference point. The problem is there is no radiation. That's impossible. Standing at ground zero. Oh my God, Why Russell just had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> radiation is definitely not real. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Clear sign. Prove it. Well, where is your proof? A bunch of pictures? I've got pictures. Uh-oh. They're also living here. Yes. <laughs> they probably have lots of documentation. This oh. is our backyard. He built that playhouse for me when I was five. My man's was Polly. Can you tell us anything? We have been waiting, looking. Oh. But here she's gone. This is really hard toll that it would take on a revelation like this. I'm sorry I was in here. Um, let's just forget this happened. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Help me understand. You're breaking my heart right now. I wish I could. Here. My hot sister. <laughs> so conflicted. <laughs> my father's double life. Or my hot sister. <laughs> Half sister. <laughs> So it's okay. Yeah, half of it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's been absorbed by something. Yeah, or eaten. By whom? What? It's not like we haven't seen it before. These things think the A and A bomb stand for appetizer. Come on, time for some science shit. <laughs> Last charge is set. These are supposed to be set at 50 meters apart. That was apart. for the larger ones. The 3.8 megajoules. Well, that's what we brought. Nope. Fire on the hole. One job, workaholics guy. Is that wait? Oh, it's what? Chambers, deep in the bedrock. There's something down there. Those are off the charts. Off the chain. <laughs> Whoa! So mature by the revelation. They're like the couple in Prometheus, and he's like one of the other guys. What have you awakened? This is it. Yes. Gamera. That sudden shift from <laughs> celebration to terror. Oh. Kate, what did you find out? Whose apartment is it? It's his. Mom, are you there? Mom? Oh. Mom! Oh no. Emergency. <laughs> I can't believe Kim Watanabe fathered all these people. <laughs> <laughs> He's a prolific guy, all right? Early warning system. Warning for what? Go with me now. Oh, how'd they find her? Yeah, really. They must have followed her right out of the door. <laughs> oh, get in the Godzilla evacuation it's, area. It's an interesting time to set it in because by this time in the story, the timeline, they've only seen Godzilla and the... Um, and the Muto. Muto's, yeah. yeah. She wants to know if he was with you. When it happened, was he with you? Oh, no. What difference does that make now? You don't think it would have made a difference if he'd been here with us instead? Oh, keeps treating her like shit. No, he wasn't with me. In the multiverse, he was there. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, fun. Whoa. Oh. Interesting CGI effect. <laughs> Whoa! Cool. Oh, 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 damn. Damn. Face to face. Damn, you're such a good person. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Oh my god! 
Oh my goodness. That. Yeah, I'll scar you. Solid edit there. Okay. Yeah. Way to map out those transitions. Someone suffering the PTSD, like a Godzilla survivor. Yeah. Which is, I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be so many of them. And it complements the tone, especially of that 2014 movie pretty well. Which I feel like is very, very underrated. Well, you know, they didn't do the one thing Godzilla always does, which is only show Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> Aw, she's comforting her. The mom is great. You think that's her mom? I think that could be... No, wait. Her mom's that lady in America. Maybe it's her grandma. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this is, is that woman. Is, is the other... Is the mom of the other family. Or maybe it's just an Asian lady. Maybe it's... <laughs> they're all just Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Some new form of Muto. Well, they look embryonic, like larva. Ooh. New form of Muto? Mom can't be far away, right? We need to get a sample of the genetic material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jump in there, boy. So you want to go down there? Well, yeah, I mean, they appear to be dormant. <laughs> Whoa, what a crazy sideways angle. So is this what leads to the events of the San Francisco outbreak? You boys can pull me up if I get in trouble. Okay. We are not just letting you go down there. No. You're not letting me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How much time you need down there to collect the no genetic material? Five minutes. Tops. Oh, no. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. <laughs> All clear. All clear. I think this mom's going to die. Yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, and like, brother and sister are going to learn to get along yeah. while he deals with his lust for her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, becomes, it becomes like Michael Fassbender in shame just for that subplot. Did you get the answers of what these unlock? And all you found was dad was apparently a lying asshole. <laughs> He's got so many other apartments. You think our father was so bad? I want to show you something. I want to show you his storage locker full of MacGuffins. Look around. Man. Looking for anything in particular? Just drink it in. He just wasn't who you say he was. Maybe you just didn't know him. Maybe we're both kind of right. What do you do anyway? Let me guess. Computer engineering? Something that would make dear old dad proud? I'm a gamer. Sounds like he had a much better relationship with his dad. Hey! Yep. Oh. I didn't know it was there. That's why you gotta look behind the opening credits. Like, you really get the sense that the two of them were raised completely different. What's your birthday? Stop doing that. Show me something I didn't know about him, because the only thing in this room that isn't old news to me is this. July 7th. 7-7. Seven, seven. about your mom? Well, she wouldn't be that obvious. Afraid of what we'll find? August 17th. Your birthday. Seriously, stop. I'll never get it open. Hey. How did you do that? It's her birthday, yeah. Your birth month, my day. Your mother's month, my mom's day. He loved you all. <laughs> Stop being mad at him. This locker combination is the proof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was the guy on the boat. Or that could have just been a random Japanese fisherman. <laughs> 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 Miranda. Look how much Monarch cares about their people. Yeah. I need to know what this is. It's some kind of old data storage. It's private. I'll make you a deal. You help me and I'll get out of your life forever. What about he helps you and then... Come on, May. Well, where do we know this woman from? Have you seen a format like this before? I know we've seen her. Is it in this franchise is the question. You know, I can't drop everything when you need a favor. Life goes on. No, no, no. I can pay you. She reminds me of the girl from Hellboy, but I don't think it's her. We can keep this professional. Is that what this relationship is now? I told you I needed some time. Yeah, and I, I gave it to you. Uh-oh. You don't get to ghost me for months and then show up out of nowhere treating me like tech support. It's gonna drive me nuts. She is super familiar. Is she the one from Reacher? Remind, I was going to say she reminds me of Reacher's buddy. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though. Are you a collector? No. 
the audio file nerds where it's the only way to listen to vinyl. Yeah. I'll drop two, three hundred thousand yen on some antique I pulled from Grandpa's garage. Bunch of pretentious bullshit. It's about the crackles and pops, man. I mostly do uh, freelance coding and game design. Is this from one of your games? Your brother did that. A half brother. And that's still up for debate. You said you were an engineer. No, you said that. Wow, you're racist, lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, encryption technology has come a long way. It was military grade 40 years ago. And it's off the shelf now. She the one in Madam Web? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll look it up later. Yeah, who else's computer is this? Is it? <laughs> Not. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. Hey, it's Collins and Data Culling. I've got something here you should see. Yeah. Sophia Lillis. Yes, hey. Yeah. Great minds. Ultimate plot twist. Her father's Ken, Ken Watanabe. Watanabe. <laughs> She's just white passing. <laughs> Someone tried to run it through some online decryption software. It's got a monarch recognition code embedded, so it pinged back to us. Just pulled that up with the space bar. I love these sets because, like, the office spaces are so clutter-filled with history yeah. and messy minds of secrecy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not for this thing from organized. Yeah, it's all sleek. <laughs> you know, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Are you sure? Because after G-Day, Verdugo said she wanted to see you. so much for everything. You leave Richard Dreyfus alone. <laughs> Let me get back to my porno. Mm -hmm. Hey, those are Japanese. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Maybe he's calling Kurt Russell. He's called Kurt Russell. He's like, my Japanese is good. <laughs> 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 It looks like that big satellite map in his office. They were there in San Francisco, like soldiers or something with this on their uniforms. It's a good logo. It felt like the whole city was coming down. People were trapped dying and these guys were taking pictures. They'd been waiting for it. You think that your father was working for them? Interesting angle to take the perspective here. Yeah. After we, the audience, have spent three movies <laughs> with Monarch, you know, it's, it's a very interesting way to deal with it, like to have this like mysterious, ominous aura to it. Oh, he wasn't with either of them. Ooh, nice. What does the plus five mean? Five days after? Uh, no, just like this is five times cooler on the cool scale than G Day. What? It's like plus five cool points. It's five days later. <laughs> Where exactly? Where is Sunday right now? I'm at the Red Cross tent near the north entrance. Dad? Why, wow, you Get have parents who just fucking hang up on you. <laughs> yeah. Dad! I'm sorry. I just came from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I rushed to get here. I don't know. I'm Oh. Uh oh. Why would he leave them? Because he's got important Godzilla work to do. Tell your mom I love her. I love you both. Why just leaves? Cheapers, man. About a week after that. We got a call from the state police in Fairbanks, Alaska, saying the bush plane he was on disappeared in a storm. They never found the wreckage. I bet. Dude, he's out there. He's all crazy in the woods somewhere. He had some reason for doing what he did. The answers have to be here. And these super old tapes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I had two families. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, he had two families because of the growth of the franchise, the roots in Japan, but the augmentation from the American side. <laughs> to understand both. That's my grandmother. Hey. She died when he was little. Why is her picture in these files? What is she standing at? So Monarch is a family business, huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yep, so oh, God. I was like, yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> so did this. I know. <laughs> We're gonna see that photo. Yeah, we're gonna see How her. The photo the came to be. The, the the last shot of the episode will be her in the footprint. Same as you, Billy, just closer. <laughs> so grumpy. Thank you. To use a bigger word, cantankerous. He's a cantankerous guy. It's a 
Good vocab word. <laughs> a bit of a curmudgeon, you might say. You lost me. <laughs> English, please. Shoot it. The reactor must have drawn them towards the surface to feed. Yes. <laughs> I love scientists in these movies. Whoa. How's Thanks. a roar? Thanks. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, go, go, go! You did this. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, come on, Anders home Or whatever your name is. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> It's gonna be freaking heavy. Whoa. Wow! It's like World War Z, but with bugs. It's like what actual oh, roaches or rats do. That. Oh, that's icky. This reminds me of the Peter Jackson Kong a little bit. Yeah. His <laughs> voice got so screechy. Yeah. God. Ew, Indiana, let it go. Take a photo! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I mean, we gotta see how that photo came to be. how she have a kid? I know. She Did they establish it? I forget at the beginning of the story. Did they say they had a kid? You know what I mean? Remember they're talking about the kid thing? Yes, in the car. Her yeah, and, yeah. and Anders or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, they, they have a kid on the way. They have a kid on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's gonna be the dad. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they have. So this is. So I she's think. Fine. I think the kid's on the way, right? There's a kid somewhere. In the mix. It's right gonna now. be her dad. Oh my god! So there's like Muto blood in them that runs through their veins. There's gotta be something like. I think that, now's man. the time to hyper theorize. Yes. And be massively <laughs> disappointed by what the outcome is. Yeah, yeah. If she doesn't have some, well, I mean, you know, the lore clearly sets up for the ability to telepathically commune with uh, the creatures, and maybe this going. is where that's coming from. Yeah. Some Hollow Earth juju right there. I'm excited. I like it. I love how this episode was like, just get Kong and Godzilla out of the way. <laughs> For yes. everyone is wondering, are they going to make a cameo? Show just get it out of the way. We'll let you speculate on anyone else, but these <laughs> two, it's coming right out of the Yeah. Hand. Yeah. Let's rewind that dialogue back really quick cool. before we, uh, yeah, I want to make sure. I want to make sure. Okay, so it's right here. They go to Kazakhstan. They're talking about Borat, and she's going to have the son who's <laughs> yeah. going to be the Borat's this is the origin. Of oh, yeah. Okay. He's complaining. Comedy? There's comedy happening right yeah, now. Definitely. It's a good review. Yeah. Just I just don't want to really cut drinking anything. in the so environment. Just, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. he's got a Kansas City hat, old timey hat. Hey, the time I always in commentary. The back seat. That's what we're doing. Any is backseat commentary. We are just making up shit <laughs> yes. to fill the time here. <laughs> we are. This I is context. I could just jump cut past this, but nah, we're not doing this. That. Is the real? We're shit. going to discover this in real time. Oh man, so many, we were so around, much radiation. We clearly were around back too far. Too far. <laughs> Hopefully, the they road. cut away from this into the future. Uh, I never plan on having kids anyway. Uh oh, never. That's Just right, because we was, thought they were flirting with each history. other. But he lost out to Anders. Right. Oh, he met the right woman, but it's your woman. Make yeah. it look easy. Uh huh. Raising a great, raising a great kid. Kids okay, already so, born. Yeah, so we're raising a great kids kid. already born. That made born. the most sense. Yeah. And thus, anything we else have to say about this episode, we were out until we found out because yes. <laughs> otherwise we could have gotten very out of hand here. And rewatching that scene, they clearly had sexual tension. They did. Wyatt Russell they and did. the mom. Oh yeah. There's... Do you think that's really his kid? You think oh, that's what we're going to discover? Shit. You think we're really going to discover? He's just, okay, so. She got white blood in her. Yeah. She got white man's blood. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she do. She, they're going to discover, yeah, that, 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 that they're. I mean, they already do, because he's, if he's the dad, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, well, either way, I mean, our, yeah. our two characters in the present have a shared white granddaddy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, when it's but I think we're gonna find out why Russell because it seems like this show for some reason is dealing so much with legacy, lineage, families, and family, family dramas, and, and monarch is really like a evil family. It's like the Godfather of the gods. Yeah, it's a family business. It's a <laughs> that's, you're gonna have to take over it's weird reluctantly. hierarchy, and that's why why <laughs> Russell's acting the way that he's acting. He's so uh, uh, cantankerous because he's begrudgingly, you know, kind of yeah. keeping this business alive when really he just wants to go off and do other things. Right, right, and but I, I think I'm right about that. That they have I, sexual tension? I'm beyond or romantic that. I feel tension? Like, I feel that's probably really his kid, huh? I, I could absolutely see that. Yeah. I mean, he looks after her like it's Yeah, his and, own and woman, the way yeah. they they especially trade that line about, like, there was a time when you wanted, yeah, there was a yeah. time, or whatever that, whatever he says back. Like, that's directly about having a kid. <laughs> so, you know, it seems it's like, like interpersonal family drama is such a thing about this i mean yeah. it kind of started off that way with the 2014 one in a way yeah about like dad <laughs> dad you weren't there dad, you're, you're so, so, so absorbed in your godzilla work you <laughs> yeah. weren't there for us Mom died. And it was awkward yeah. growing up in japan as a child <laughs> as a white kid yeah. <laughs> which uh, i appreciated yeah <laughs> um, but as terms of a first episode i thought it was a really solid start i thought yeah. it was really solid like Something like this can easily get bogged down in Easter eggs, which I'm sure there's probably some that we missed. Easter Never. eggs and world building and, oh, my God, they reference the thing I know, which is another form of Easter eggs. <laughs> and this just decided to keep it more in its mood and its overall aura and its characters. And I think every actor here is pretty great. Not the biggest fan so far, of the perform, um, you know, always give things time to let a season play out um, and see how the choices are really feeling. Uh, the sun, the I feel like they, they're the right, that's the only part of it where the writing and the per, it's kind of going hand in hand with writing and performance. Yeah, I think it's like, is it just the writing or is it the performance? Is it both? You know, is the actor just doing what he that's the only part of it where I'm like, I'm not the biggest fan of the way the execution of him is going down. The plot mechanic, sure. Totally can accept that, but yeah. this is very just one note. I'm back and forth right now on the way they're just orchestrating the whole uh, half brother sister lost dual family thing. Like, creates a pulse to it though, John. Oh sure. I mean, like I like everything they're doing <laughs> on paper, and I mean it's funny, like sitting watching this and thinking to myself, like oh, you know, some of the some of the dialogue or some of the you know character beats could feel a little less scripted in a comic book somewhere. It's uh, about on par with the last two movies. But, but I then go and then I go <laughs> off and think, well, it's about on par with the movies and also everyone loves to immediately kick in the door and be like, no one cares about humans in yeah. a Godzilla. But at the yeah. same time, we're doing a show. And that's why I'm saying why I'd like to start because it, it, the whole point is they're getting you to care about the humans. Yeah, and I and I I like everybody enough that I'm you know in I want to see where this goes and I hope it yeah. pulls me in further. It's like I like everything that they're doing in terms of like building the world and the intrigue and all that stuff. Like that's all yeah. very enticing and neat and foreboding and atmospheric. And I like the cast enough, and I like what they're going for with the drama enough and now just as for my taste i'm hoping like oh maybe i hope later on some of this human drama feels a little more human rather than like c good story intent you know yeah. like good choices but also I, you know i just want to feel the scenes breathe whereas it feels very much like stick to this sort of more comic book-esque dialogue for these bits yeah yeah i'm not super connected to anyone yet um, even the main character who is the daughter, yeah, uh, like she's good. Like every everyone, like I said, everyone's good. Um, and, but at this point, I would still feel like, well, it's we were here for like almost an hour. I would like to feel like I really love one of these guys. Like, I want to really be bonded to someone. Who's the one guy, one person I'm really drawn to right now? Yeah, and, and, I and, and right now, because even for like Godzilla, I, I remember even the 2014 Godzilla movie. I mean, sure, uh, maybe because it's 
Brian Krentz because Brian Krentz. And yeah. But I remember everyone being like, so bummed he died so early because <laughs> sure. he was so great. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and yeah. he's and, acting his ass off. <laughs> and they are kind of giving our main girl, um, like, both the Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Cranston role in, 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 in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of like the the do, the child of the scientist who knew more then, and is now yeah. solving the rest of the mystery while also getting into the adventure themselves yeah. and was also on ground for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, it's like very yeah. much in the in the demeanor of the Aaron Taylor Johnson character, but you have a feeling she's going to be called to be yes. some kind of greater, more, you know, involved presence because of her lineage and, and the yeah. fact that she's a something of a chosen one in this story. And I am curious as to what, because like right now it is really building on, on like a, a mystery tone and, and it is more just what mystery are they going to unpack? Like I, I like the tone, and, but the puzzle box that they are laying here for us to investigate yeah like what what is, what it, is it that we don't know already what is it yeah. gonna be that <laughs> isn't just like oh that we unleashed a new kaiju like, <laughs> like we've got him we've got him pretty far into the godzilla yeah. world with like hollow earth and totally like really getting to know monarch and all these things that yeah we are at a point now where i'm like we have discovered quite a lot. So yeah. I'm not saying there's not something more to discover. It, it is just right now with the, the questions they have posed or the thing that like, hey, this door we're about to let you walk through. Um, what What is it going to be uh, other than I mean, the, the family was involved with Monarch? Well, yeah, it's and it's who's Ken Watanabe's children. Yes, when it's Ken Watanabe <laughs> going to show up and take <laughs> credit for all the Japanese I people? I want him to. Get, I was hoping he'd be the dad so he could see the kids and he could be like, "Let them fight." <laughs> yes, <laughs> let them fight for which of my families was legitimate. <laughs> yeah, that would be the best bit of fan service imaginable. <laughs> but I don't want to make it sound like a complaint. It just it it, it is just. No. For, there, there has been a lot of hype around this show as like, hey, this is great. And yeah, I mean, like visually, it just it looks like cinema. <laughs> you know, it's very yeah. cinematically appealing from sound design, uh, visual effects. And the visual effects are more than just big. Like they, they're on the quality of any of the movies. Yeah, for the know? most part. Yeah, there were some early moments where I was like, I could catch like a green screen or whatever, but I just really liked I really being... have legs in frame today. You John. do, man. They are like super, l I, my legs are really here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Sometimes they're just that peaking. bold. But the, they're really, nice. I'm really legged. And thank God I lotion my knees anyway. Because um, <laughs> they're usually quite ashy. Sure. Please talk while well, I look good. up who that, who that girl was. A hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's... Where we are in the timeline makes me curious because we've seen enough of the past and enough of this present in 2014 and surrounding that I'd, I, it makes you wonder what we could learn that Monarch wouldn't already know. But we haven't seen so much of their mysterious, you know, backlog of information. Uh, and who knows where we might go toward the future with this. It's like, yeah, if you're looking ahead towards Godzilla versus Kong, we've already been to Hollow Earth, but I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I, I I don't know really what kind of reveal I would want, and I think a big part of the satisfaction... Kiersey Clemens, she's Iris West. That's who that is. Oh, my God. Yeah, from, she's the, Iris from West. Justice League. Yeah, and The Flash and all that, yeah. Uh, the Flash, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, and, and yeah. you know, she got put back into Zack Snyder's <laughs> Justice League. Um, yeah, like, right now, I think it's enough that, like, it doesn't have to be anything, like, crazy mind-blowing, although I do like a good, like, conspiracy, cryptozoology kind of thing. So I feel like you can play with a, a lot there. And I think that, yeah, like, the tone and the lived-in quality of how they're portraying this post, uh, you know, Titan world is pretty fun and engaging. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, like, you know, the use. And, and I like how Godzilla, um, even though Godzilla's like, I imagine I'm going to be in the show a lot, like yeah. the after effect. Like, that's one of the things I find the most compelling about it is the civilian after effect and the trauma and just the way the world has really changed. Like we've yeah. seen in the movies where people are like fascinated by, by it and, and, and Titans, but we're really 
like uh, like the little attention to details, like when they get on the plane, and then it's like, hey, it might be linked to the, you know like human viruses carrying shit. Yeah, we got to spray uh, you down. We got to spray case, down yeah. all the like warning signs, like how it's treated, like it's a virus in a way. You know, I think yeah, I, I or like that there's something really on us yeah. that they're attracted to, or whatever it is. And, and like seeing like the nuclear weapons, or uh, uh, not nuclear yeah. weapons, but like the the missiles and stuff yeah. ready to launch at a moment's notice. Like we just got to prepare. Like there's just a fear of Gojira yeah. permeating everywhere totally. um, and I, I really love that stuff a lot yeah no it's, it's, it's lots of love it's well that, lived yeah, in yeah. and it and it complements the films that have come before it in fun and interesting ways and i'm i'm excited actually in, in like a non-pandery sort of easter egg kind of way just like the way it because i like i think the pts d thing is a really solid device in this context because it enhances the monster movie quality that these things have and the trauma that Godzilla and the surrounding circumstance that begets Godzilla represents. Definitely. Um, so that's like a, a neat device for something like this to kind of freshen it up and allow, allow you to kind of half Godzilla action yeah. wherever you want but also in a way that that makes some sense and then you know when there's like present very intentional kaiju stuff i'm sure that's going to be cool like the whole uh big daddy long leg spider bit with mm -hmm. randa at the beginning was was super fun like there were there were a couple moments where i'm Dan like Connor. yes of course <laughs> this is the real end of the connors right here <laughs> uh <laughs> but yeah like it, it was enough of like connective tissue to be satisfying that way, but also, you know, allowing this to be its own thing enough. So it's like, there's good enough room to improve on the drama that hopefully that'll clinch by the end. So I, I feel like the, the one thing I felt during this was like, this could use maybe just like a, a tiny ounce of that overlord energy where it's like, this is still taking it seriously. But uh, I don't know, like, especially with the three scientists, like I want yeah. a little bit more flavor on that. Like, I'm excited yeah. to see that grow, especially now that she's, like, fallen into the pit. Like, I think there's going to be some fun stuff ahead for that. Me too, man. Uh, overall, yeah, I thought it was a really solid start. I'm definitely in, I'm definitely intrigued by what's happening. Yeah. And I um, can't help but admit, like, you know, it, it would just be the, the idea of the preconceived notion. of this is Godzilla's monarch, you know? Yeah. That whenever, like, the monster stuff shows up, there is that part of it. It's like, ooh, finally. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, every time it is like, ooh, finally. Like, I'm enjoying what I'm watching, but it is like, ooh, yes, thank you. Well, and it's a more agreeable <laughs> yeah. circumstance to be like, okay, I'm not going to expect to see only Godzilla specifically yeah. and Kaiju generally all the time. But, but when it happens, yeah, I'll be psyched. Because, yeah, you can't mess with the timeline, too, because, like, in the timeline of this, Godzilla... <laughs> you have a bunch of extra attacks. Yeah, because yeah, Godzilla about. shows up, and then Godzilla's... Like, the times he's shown up are in the three movies, so yeah. you can't mess with that timeline. Yeah, 14 onward. Yeah. Um... But, you but, know, we can do tons of random wacky shit on that island in the 70s, on Skull Island. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. In the 70s, if we want to. Um, but, but, that, but I like the recontextualization for what our main character is feeling, because... By this point in the story, you know, it's like of Godzilla, it's like he's he's, he's kind of like an anti-hero in, in our world. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then this brings it to that. It's like an anti-hero or something just or, or like civilians are kind of just caught in the middle of something that bigger that's happening. You're you know? either the benefactor yeah. of Godzilla's protection or you're standing directly in the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But he's not like going to protect you. And <laughs> yeah. and or she. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They well oh the Roland God. Emmerich Is one it was I don't know what the the, the 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 specifics of lizards are like if you need to be a lady like lizard to lay eggs I feel like they specified it in one of the movies which one I mean k k unless we're getting real progressive oh, I think King implies that Godzilla is a guy Zilla John please sure <laughs> 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 is the monster verse Godzilla <laughs> male female or other is the monster verse Godzilla, female or male? Let's find out. Yes. Let's find out. Tune in next week. We'll give you an answer. <laughs> uh, never explicitly stated in the films. Okay. The Japanese ones. Yes, use Matt. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and then the 1998 one uh, was pushing woke agendas. Yes, yes, of Google. course. Yes. Uh, uh, sometimes I've interpreted cuts to be gender neutral. 1998 American Godzilla film and characters referred to as a she by a scientist. Yeah, John really knows that one. I do. <laughs> I, I loved that movie as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've watched it since then. But, but yeah, um, 
Oh, over all the, I don't remember what we're talking about. Yeah, let's. Uh, we're gonna end it, it was, now. It was pretty good. What did you guys think about it? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and uh, hey, let's end this with a shout out. Yes. What's going on, guys? So, uh, you know, we're only so many days left in the month here, so we gotta have shout out two patrons for two of our patron of the day shout outs. Gonna do it in one, but it's gonna be qualitative. Mm. I'm I'm going to choose today, right now, John, to shout out David Yandy yes. and uh, Tyler Haig. Ooh, what a lovely, soothing combination. I mean, they're both white men, and they're I both white men. feel like, you know, whiter the biter. Stick together. Yeah. <laughs> white guys stick together. <laughs> so, first things first on the agenda, David Yandy. Mm. The camera we are shooting off of right now, you have gifted Aww. us with this, and it has been a treasure chest of discovery even the other day i was like john do we have a wide lens what do we do for 4k so many lenses and john spent about an hour and a half just experimenting with all the lenses and then we ultimately resorted to this to go back to what we were using before yes <laughs> this is definitely the one but that's most compatible through all those lenses we learned even more about other lenses we did yes. we did someday um, these will be in 4k all thanks to you but david you have uh, opened our eyes up to many a things and beyond gifting us with stuff you have also expanded our horizons so thank you so much for being you and i hope you're having a wonderful thanksgiving in arizona easily the most festive state in the world absolutely and, uh tyler haig my guy uh, i don't i think I, I, it sounds like it might be beating a dead horse here over me talking about how years ago you gifted me with a ps4 but I'm pretty sure my gaming days might have been done if it wasn't for you. Uh, if you had not gifted me that at a time where financial need was bad, uh, in, and then having that uh, allowed me to continue on with uh, easily one of my favorite escapist hobbies that I find kind of meditative, or rather meditative, honestly. Uh, I don't think I would still game if it weren't for you. So thank you for allowing me to still have that. Uh, what I find to be a necessary form of escapism and for always being quite jovial with us regardless, man. Uh, even if we dip in and out of being able to have our long conversations and, and, and just, and I know I can be late on messages, but I really appreciate you, dude. So thank you. Thank you. I'm sure John had a weirder thing in mind. Always. Something about David adopting Tyler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then David would like connect his camera because he's a photographer, <laughs> right? Sure. To all of Tyler's screens. And then Tyler can like direct while there David's his DP. And then you guys start like a film career where you make these this films out of all these action figures Brings and stuff. Me joy. And then Tyler <laughs> can use his video game love to then add graphics and stuff yeah, like that. Amazing. Maybe he learns how to do CGI. So then all these little action figure films can be like the fan films that we are so often you know desire but never receive because of the constraints of working with human actors you know <laughs> these two could start a revolution all right and stop motion filmmaking that's all i'm saying okay so you guys are great and creative and i love you both and I'm very soothed just thinking about the both. See, the thing is, I think we would get them together mm -hmm. and they would just like emit this sort of calming ohm, <laughs> you know, two chillest guys at the Patreon. And I feel like that's good. We could all use a little bit more of that. Yes, we could. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> both you very guys. much. <laughs> Stay sexy. Thanks for being here and we'll catch you next month.